Quest Unlocked, time to level up. Hello everyone, and welcome to Game Hub. I'm Cap Kev, but you can call me Kevin. And right next to me is my good buddy, you have guys seen him in many videos of mine, Zach. Oh, you can call him Zach Attack. 81397. That is a long name, buddy. How did you come up with that? Um, you know what? I've had this Xbox name since, uh... The Xbox Arcade. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 13 years old now. It's my birthday. Oh, very nice. I've actually <laughs> been on Xbox Live for, I would say, um, 13 years, and that's pretty crazy. I remember uh, how I got on Xbox was I, I, I was maybe in 13 years ago. I think I was in middle school. I would say middle school. I can't really – hang on. I, I just turned 27. Today is my birthday, the time that we are recording this. And so I'm 27. I was 14 years old when I first – really? I was 14 years old. That's insane. That, that damn. That, was I really 14 years old? I feel like – Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> may, no, no, no. You're okay. You're okay, man. This is a podcast. We can <laughs> say what we want. But, for, but, yeah, I was 13 – probably 13 going on 14. Yeah, I was a teenager when I first finally got – Xbox Live, and I yeah I was in middle school at the time, and I remember that a, a friend of mine where I used to live, um, bought me three three months, a three month card. Remember when they were like I don't even know if people even. I was use, about to say like do people do you remember the ones we used to get when you bought a new game? It would come like a three day pass. Yeah. For Xbox Live. Oh yeah, when you when you get like a, a brand new game and they sneak in like a like a trail a trial. Yeah, yeah, that was, I miss that stuff. I do too. I feel like I still have one, actually. Oh, oh, did I get rid of that game? I can't remember, but there was a. But I remember that in a couple of my games that I have for Xbox 360, I had like 90 day passes. Yeah, they would come for like it was a good amount too. It was like a week or a month to try out like Xbox Live Gold and all the, and all that. But yes. Oh, hold so, on, dude. I hold on. Um. I'm gonna get fucking raped down here. So for yeah. about so about <laughs> for the past two years, I've actually been miss MIA missing in action for two years on my on my channel here. And with the two years that we have that we have not been recording, we actually came up with an idea to do a podcast where we just play whatever we want and for however long we want to do do it. We're just gonna play, you know, I think and this it, is how we came. I think it's up. a nice little change. Yeah, it's a nice little yeah. change. There, there, like we can still do videos here and there, but like we're just going to hit record, talk for however long we want, and just enjoy, just enjoy a nice peaceful game, and hopefully that we can stay focused and not mess up like right there, as I see on my screen. Zach, you just died. Are you? Are you drowned? Yeah, I had a. I gotta switch out my batteries. There's so there's so many zombies here at spawn. So for, so for like being gone for for two years, it kind of just like reminded me of of like how back in the day with like YouTube, and that's kind of what we what our first topic of today is for Game Hub. I know like our, our name is says game, but like you know the game is only because we're we're you're watching if you're watching this on on you on a, the YouTube channel right now. You're you're seeing us play a game right now, but if you're listening to an audio recording with any of our future apps that we put on, um, you will just hear hear us talking. But for the viewers who want to see a video, you guys are seeing us literally just jumping around doing nothing in Minecraft right now, because we <laughs> want to have a nice, good. What would you say? A different sort of environment for people, or what would you what would you say? You know, I would say most podcasts you see, people are sitting down, they're in like their office or mm -hmm. a, like a couch or something, you yeah. know, just talking to each other. And sometimes you don't want to look at people. No. Sometimes you just want to watch some games mm -hmm. and, yeah, we'll, you know. Yeah, we're going to try our best to make it look entertaining, but we are trying our best to focus more on on talking. 
But, but well, like I said, I'm not, not dying right yeah. now. There's fucking zombies everywhere. But for the past two years of just being off, I randomly, when we came up with I this th this idea, because we always kept saying, "Dude, we gotta get back into recording." We always gotta get back into recording. But for these for these years of being MIK, I remember back in the good old days of YouTube, and this is where our topic will be going to. I was talking about is just YouTube in general. Back 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 in the day when you were going on a oh, going on a break or like you were gone for so long you you would always have like this hello welcome back video or like guys I'm, I'm gonna be gone for how long so if you like went offline there would like you would make a video say that i'm going offline so you don't lose any of your subscribers and then when you come back you you, you have like a greetings again video type thing you know and just speaking of that i noticed you know, you used to have like over a thousand subscribers, and mm -hmm. being gone for the couple years, and you know, it's dropped off. Yeah, yeah. Being gone, I I remember even hitting a thousand subscribers. I remember one day I was in college. I would say maybe June, no, senior senior year, because I was, no, it wasn't senior, junior year, junior year. I was, I was at the time. I had a I had a friend over, uh, spending spending the night in my in my small. New Hall dorm room, <laughs> and if you and if and if there's any people who went to Northern Illinois University out there listening to our podcast right now, you will know that Northern that New Hall, you have this, you have a single room to your to yourself, and you share a share a bathroom. You get your own sink, but you have to, and you share a a shower and a toilet with your roommate next door who has the same thing. But I had a friend over, and I let her have 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 my bed while I sit on the the carpet floor but this carpet floor was so hard and i <laughs> had like all i had was like a spare blanket in my closet and i wrapped myself around it and i am about to die and i need to, i need to get escape jeez what what difficulty did you put this game on man <clears throat> don't worry about it i don't either but we do need to like uh definitely meet up <laughs> i know i lost <laughs> you. i lost you too but so we had so so I'm there and I just remember um you know I would always like to look at my channel when I was really into YouTube back then and I w I will say senior year of college definitely took me away from YouTube because I guess I started thinking more about personal life in general I I guess you would say I don't know if that's right. like the right thing but like you know like where would I be in that in five years? That that stupid interview question, like, where will you be in five years? I don't know. Like, why? So does anyone really know? Yeah, does like, anyone can, really know? You can plan and think about it, but are you really gonna do the things you say you're gonna? So much happens in five years yeah. that you know you could have these goals my, set out and my, never achieve them. My little cheesy cheesy thing is like. <laughs> what do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully happy, you know. <laughs> well, I, that's that's not a bad answer. You no, know, a lot of people think like <laughs> it's not a bad answer at all. Like you, like you, you think a lot of people, yeah, they have monetary an like answers. They're like, mm -hmm. you know, I see myself with a good job, you know, high paying job. But it's like, but is you... that high paying job gonna? But pay do, off do you yeah like do you do you really want this job though still in five years and that's a big thing right do you well like is the job worth your time and your mental health behind you i have half a heart dude. and that's a big thing yeah 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 like do you want to keep this job do you want to still see yourself because i because i was i have finally got myself into a a better job than where i was before i used to for the audience out there i i used to work at a place at a at a food marketplace called high v it's more of a midwest area type thing i don't think it has even expanded out past nebraska and let's see right. from the east side oh from the east side i think i only Fuck. i think i i I, it's, I don't even know if it's in ohio but yeah. But anyway, I was there for about <laughs> Ooh. I was there for nine years. I say it was Com a long time. Coming up on almost ten years. Yeah, actually right now, 
because I started at the beginning of May, and right now, the time we are recording this, it is May 5th, on my birthday. May 1st would have been my 10-year 10, 10 mark of being a high V. But it was, it, it's a, it's a, food, food market areas is so toxic. You th- retail, in retail general. in general is, is a toxic environment. And hats off to you, Zach, because you are a store manager of a, of a Dollar Tree. <laughs> the lowest of the dollar stores. Yeah, but it's just like, how how do you do it? How do you do it? You know, I'll say it takes a lot of patience with the public. Mm-hmm. You know, you always get upset people. I mean, I gotta say too, with like with like upsetting. I was in there um a couple of days ago. If you guys don't know, to Zach actually Zach Stoyle is actually just a block away from my house, which is so hilarious. So like, I'll just go in sometimes and and and, and visit him late hours when he's working. Cause he's got nothing else to do. <laughs> but anyway, I got work to do. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you got work to do. Yeah, it's talking to me, man. <laughs> but um, oh, where was I going with this? I just drew a blank. <laughs> oh my god, I just drew a blank. I don't know. You know, I <laughs> I will say though, you mentioned you mentioned your YouTube, you know, back in the day. Oh yes, I gotta say. But, um, I have been on YouTube since 2007. That's how long ago I've been making videos. I was 10 years old when I started YouTube, and I am now 27. I've been in this for 17 years. And it's pretty crazy about how the evolution is because it used to be – YouTube used to be a fun environment back in the day where you can make lousy skits. People would find find your stupidity funny, and they would give you a like. You could you could literally make up anything on a thing and and people will find it funny. I feel like YouTube now has been now what it used to be anymore. No. You could it definitely has changed. Yeah, it has it to me the last time I remember being on YouTube constantly watching my favorite people was probably I don't even watch him anymore now, but I but I'm still subscribed to him. Was the Vanoss crew, and I feel like I stopped. I would say last the the last time I stopped watching them constantly because I used to watch Vanoss's first, then I would watch Wildcat's video that was literally the same thing, but his point of view. Watch Terrorizer. I used to watch Moo back in the day where I would, <laughs> where like his his stuff he never. Never, like edited. He did the full, like a full twenty-five minutes video. Let's play, but it's like a funny moment. But he used to be like, "Oh, it's right. funny moment." But it's like it's a whole clip. I feel like I stopped watching them constantly with the whole mini mini lat situation. You know, I never really watched uh, Vanoss back in the day, because mm. um, unlike you, I've just recently got into youtube it's been a couple years mm-hmm. I, you know yeah but i've been the shorts and stuff yeah i've been doing youtube so much and it is it it is it is a lot and i know i'm a small channel but it's just like you know you're you know if you don't have a team which all these people have have teams i do this all all by myself i i record it i edit it i make the thumbnails all by myself this is a one man show now probably with this whole podcast thing i can we can probably work work together, and again, we, we we might have a team going. Who knows? Well, yeah, you know, like when they get something going on, they have thumbnail uh, thumbnail artists, mm-hmm. you know, editors, editors. You know, it took me like a whole day just to make the logo for our channel, mm-hmm. and <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, what's good about beginners such as you is that you're it it, it will soon improve. You will soon improve once you start doing your stuff. And you get and you work on it because your first because like my first my first thumbnail was was a was I used to I used to with my thumbnails take a take a screenshot of of a of a shot of a clip from my recording whatever it was like I could I could right now as I'm looking out if you're watching this on YouTube you see this nice blue ocean area and I would pause for a second. So that when I look back at this clip, I would take a screenshot of it, and then I would put a text 
That used to be my thumbnails back in the day. You know, that's still similar how do I do it. You know, I'll take mm -hmm. a screenshot. I might put some, like, a little bit of Photoshop, you know, and, like, put some things in it. But some of the stuff, it, you know, it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, when you're working jobs and you're – you got other things to do. You don't have someone to do it for you. You know, it, it can take up a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to, even for how I was, I used to upload three videos a week when I was in high school, high school, when you're, I would say <laughs> if you're, if you're wanting to do YouTube, I would say definitely start when you're, when you're in high school because you your have responsibilities aren't that high. Yeah, yet. Your you responsibilities are, are less, you have a part-time job. You c you can literally save up money easily. You got nothing to worry about with with bills such as such as uh, phone bills. Like like okay, when I was in high school, the only bill that I had was 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 my fifty dollar. Actually, I think it was sixty dollar AT and T phone bill. I, I I had to do it every month. So if you just have a phone bill. Like you are golden to save up for a capture card if you need if you're gonna do gaming, save up for a quality camera, maybe find get yourself a nice good microphone. Like I would say if you are wanting to do YouTube for like fun or maybe you soon make it a career, start in high school. You have no responsibilities. All you have is your part time job. And all you have is that one phone bill. Right now, you know, oh. even in high school, I didn't, I didn't work a job in high school. I just did school and I had. That was it. I started high V in 2014. I was a sophomore in high school. Like once I turned the age of of like when you're allowed to work in in a in a in a job re retail working area. That's another thing too. When what hasn't like. The, the age limit change now like you, you you can be 14 and work in a part time I, place I want to say you have to have like a worker's permit with like your school and stuff mm -hmm. like that um I know I think you can work as young as like 14 or 15 like I can mm -hmm. hire 16 year olds but there's restrictions on it yeah I was so. I was 16 when I got hired but I started when I was about to turn 17. So, but I, yeah, I kind of just started when I needed to start. Yeah, I didn't start working until I was 18. My first job, you know, mm -hmm. was, of course, retail. Um, but they had a, a requirement at 18, so I didn't start working there until wow. see, I was 18. See, at High V, you can you can be 16 and, and bagging groceries. You can work in, you can work in the kitchen. But like anything like dangerous wise, so like deli, deli, you had to be deli, you had to be eighteen because you had to operate a a dangerous blade. They would say, "Oh, that yeah. blade's dangerous," you know. Oh. So you gotta be eighteen. Liabilities. <laughs> same thing, same thing. I think with with meat department, there's a blade, but watch out. Um, I think that's all I can think. Like, there's some strict stuff. I don't know about, I don't know about the Italian department. Cause I was in there too, but yeah, yeah. I've been eat my meat real quick. And, there you go. Oh, thank you. And then, <clears throat> as we get back to the YouTube topic, I would say YouTube definitely has died down. Twenty sixteen, I would say, because it used to be mm -hmm. fun. I I wish that it could go back to being just skits, and no one would get offended with these skits. Right. Because well now you people making full on TV shows you know yeah now they now they, like YouTube <clears throat> mm -hmm. sometimes I remember too like the gaming wise they would make their own little YouTube like show stuff like have you like like machinima style thing like the red versus blue thing I know when gaming used to be a big thing like Minecraft was a big thing back then and right and uh and then you could just make little little fun little machinima video style stuff. 
well, that's why I usually just do shorts on my YouTube channel. They're, mm. you know, they're quicker. Um, just kind of easier overall. Mm-hmm. You know, I have to sit down, take a lot of time to edit them. Um, and I will say, even though YouTube has changed a lot, there's, there's way more variety and options than back in the day. So you mm-hmm. can really just get in there and do what you want. But you are kind of restricted and yeah. some of the things you can yeah, it's do. Like lots of things nowadays is very is very restricted because people just have the audacity to just want to cancel you for no reason. Well, yeah, we're living in that cancel culture, yeah, we live you in know. Cancel culture. I would say that kind of started during during when COVID nineteen hit because no because I feel like nobody had had anything to do. So like, let's cancel somebody for no reason. Well, it kind of started with the Me Too movement, like the Harvey Weinstein and all that. Mm-hmm. Everyone started speaking up and, you know, they all got together and was like, hey, you know, if we speak up, we can hold someone accountable. And, you know, now it's just kind of the trend. Mm-hmm. But I think they've taken it in the wrong way. Usually canceling someone you want to do for the right reasons, mm-hmm. maybe not petty reasons. And like, well, you we talked about Van Ous and the whole mini layer mm-hmm. situation. He got like canceled for, you well, know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's but that's kind of like didn't they find actual proof too? Yeah, but so, yeah, if there's so that, if that's there's a good like, reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's but proof there, the same thing happened with uh, Louis and the Van Ous crew. There were some allegations that went on, and it turned out to be, you know, not real mm-hmm. or maybe exaggerated to an extent um but now he's back doing videos with them all the time Mm -hmm. so i don't know cancel culture and youtube you gotta kind of like be cautious on the things you're doing yeah and i gotta say too like like even people try to go after eminem the rapper because Mm -hmm. of some of his lyrics in the song but it's like he's been doing this for like years guys and all of a sudden like oh this one lyric no good. I hate it. This lyric is is offensive to everything and everyone around us. Like, but he's been doing this for how long? Right. When you know that's what they do, that their mm-hmm. that's their content. Yeah. And now you want to decide, like, hey, yeah. well, yeah, there's, if, maybe there's certain if it started that require if, it. If it started like recently, then you then you know, like, this is this is out of the ordinary. Like, if it's out of the ordinary, but like, he if you've done this for many many years. Um. Then it's just your thing, right? I kind of sounded a bit a bit bad though the way I the way I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just cancel I, him. Yeah, cancel him. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. That's the that's the thing though. Like when you said it, you didn't mean it in a bad way, but someone can interpret it, you know, differently, and that's. I don't know. I guess that's where the the difference between opinion and facts come mm-hmm. in. I got so. something on on my tail. Oh, I started I started to make a I was starting to put a house down here for us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's all right. I was too busy. Well, now. I was too I was too focused drinking drinking my um, <clears throat> melted. Oh, come on, melted custard. That my parents too busy and, canceling yourself. Yeah, too busy, too busy trying to figure out how to how to get out of this mess. <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck did he get a shovel? Oh, he got the shovel from when he killed you. I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> Look for the light. The beacon. What light? There is no beacon. What what beacon? <laughs> where are you? And I'm so sorry. Oh god, that was a little bit uh, sharp. That was a bit flat there, everybody. Sorry. My throat my throat a, my throat has been dry today. I'm just saying. Oh hey, I so found the beacon of light. Me, you ain't the throat goat then, huh? Nope, not the throat goat, man. I'm so sorry. You know who was the mm. throat goat? The throat Can't goat. Can't say. Can't say for legal reasons. Is it one of my exes? <laughs> Are you I'm gonna little, let you decide that. Are you literally because you're because you're like you know who the throw goes? I'm not gonna do that for legal reasons. Like, are you gonna try to say one of my ex's names? <laughs> nah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> Unless are we talking about the person from college? Who's the Who's the person from college? Name starts with an E. Oh, I don't know anything about that. 
Oh, okay. Don't get me in trouble over <laughs> well, well, I'm so confused now because you just brought this random thing up because we're trying to stay on topic, but, you know, it's just like we keep floating around to little sub, sub, tie, sub, oh, my God, I can't even talk. S little, well, see, it's, little it's, subtitles. It's okay. We don't need to be structured completely. No, of we... course not. Of course not. But now I'm just. This is, but this now is I'm our like... channel. We can talk. <laughs> it's me, Kevin. I'm the throat goat. Oh, because you're because no. you're because you're in a chicken costume. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. That makes that makes perfect that, sense, Zach. Look, yeah, totally. just because I'm a cock, you know. <laughs> can I can I say cock on YouTube? I I don't even know. We could probably get canceled right there, buddy. I refer to cock as the good kind, the chicken. Yeah. I'm kind of kind of thinking of making making like a little 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 stairs here. That could probably work. Get some stairs up here. Make some fun this stuff. This is the ugliest fucking house I think I've ever made. It is what it is, man. As long as we don't get 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 canceled, and then you know, I was like, can we get canceled over this yeah, house? Can we get canceled over this house? Who knows? That that's it's, basically it's, what it's YouTube an inter, is. It's an interracial house. Mm -hmm. It's black and white, or brown and. You tell me, white. man. You tell me. This is hideous, dude. I'm never gonna be in charge of building again. <laughs> I need a shovel, man. I I'm freaking just dilly dallying around so much. But yeah, yeah, getting canceled. There's, I don't know. It's a tricky situation. I understand why so many people do it mm -hmm. because all it takes is one, it takes one person saying something, whether it's true or not, and it can just snowball and spiral into something much worse. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, yeah, we can never we can never go back to the day when it's a Friday, Friday afternoon, you get home from school, you you tie you go to YouTube and there it is, the new episode of Smosh. Have you, oh my god. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you have come on, you cannot tell me that that it was a peaceful time when you could just just when you were young that you were so excited for the new episode of Smosh or I got it. Oh my god! Yeah, I went. I'm struggling to stay alive in this game. <laughs> I just keep dying and dying. We need to put like a barrier or something so we can start to keep talking. <clears throat> you know, this will represent our game hub series. It's our we game need hub? to struggle to keep it alive, mm -hmm. otherwise we will die easily. Mm -hmm. That Fuck! is true. And I don't know if we can say that. We might get canceled. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, that was you. Wait, what the fuck's going on? Not me. I'm dead. I'm getting my stuff. There is a there is a there is a there's a water zombie on me. There's a water zombie on me. That's pretty scary. That's my scary. Sword, bro. You got a sword? Cause I can't get my sword. I don't even know if I even had a sword. Um, but yes, as I was saying, you cannot tell me that you did not enjoy. And even Fridays were definitely a big thing for like YouTube. Okay, I got a shovel. I got a oh, shovel. Yeah. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is! I got him! I got him! I got him. Hang on! Hang on! Spin the wheel! Beat his ass! There we go. But you cannot tell me that you enjoy that Fridays were not were were not your was not your day. You cannot tell me that Friday was not the day that you did, that you did not enjoy. I can understand if you want to say Saturday, but Fridays were great for me when I was in middle school and early high school. I would go home. Watch, watch Van, uh, not Van Os. Watch, <laughs> watch Smosh's new skit because when it was just Ian and Anthony at the time, it was beautiful. It was pure. It was, it was good, good little funny, random comedy skits that they made up, that they thought would 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 be funny. Sometimes they would execute well, getting five to ten millions of views, and. And some of them, I do a blank again, but then uh, some of them did not even get executed too. Didn't they? Wait, you say they got <clears throat> they got executed? No, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying the video. Sometimes it would execute to being to being to getting them five, ten millions of views, and sometimes it would be a miss, and they would get like bare. They would get only one million views. I've seen so many views. And it's and it's very interesting too because sometimes those videos I've seen videos that I did not like and they get like ten million views and videos that I would like only get a million. Yeah. 
So didn't they make a TV show as well? They, I, I swear they had. They probably I, have. I they probably have. I, I can't. I can't think on the top of my, top of my head about it. Yeah. I don't know. See, I was always just interested for Fridays because mm-hmm. you know we got out of school. Mm-hmm. You know, hopping on like video games was it for me? Mm-hmm. You know, hopping on some Call of Duty, some you know Black Ops, the good old days. Yeah, the good old days when when. Call of Duty was, was was more about having a good time than wanting to make than now where it's like it they want to make everything be like realistic graphics and to me Call of Duty is so hard to even understand where where I'm at with the graphics because everything wants to be realistic like even the new Halo Infinity game that came out m- probably many years ago right now because I still don't have it. But it's but I remember watching a YouTuber talk about YouTube graphics and how like it used to be so nice and crisp that you could see able to see where you're going. Now it's like it's too realistic and you have no idea where you are because they want to add shadow textures and all this other stuff mm-hmm. to it. And it's just hard to even look to know where you're going without getting killed. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's one thing, but like. There's everything is just to make money. It's so expensive. Everything's microtransactions. You know, you look at YouTube, you and they have that, mm-hmm. you know, you gotta you wanna pay for no ads and they, you, they you have that to just now. hop I thought, on and I did not know that, that you can pay on. you can pay for no ads now. I thought ads were just a thing now in general. You will like yeah. it and you <laughs> It's basically, and like they're kind of annoying, but I can wait the fifteen seconds. I'm not. I don't want to spend same. like what is it, like ten bucks or something same. like that. Same, and 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 sometimes too long, long ads. You can you can you, blah, 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 you can um, skip it. Right. So yeah, but it's just yeah, but as I was saying, because every time you cut me off, Mister, I just want to say. You go, you watch Smosh, and then you go over to... <laughs> Stop interrupting me. I just laughed. I don't care if it was a laugh, if it was a sneeze, if it was you choking and dying. I don't care. You would let me finish. <laughs> Please, master. <laughs> I just want to enjoy. Oh, God. Now I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> 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 this guy named Kevin uses uses his co-host as a, as a slave. Oh, boy. <laughs> but anyway... Smosh. Smosh. I finished my Smosh. Then I will go over to Rest in Peace, Rooster Teeth, Achievement Hunter channel to watch the new episode of Xbox Minecraft. That is another thing I wish kept kept going and not... They basically killed it off, in, in my opinion. I stopped watching when they, when they basically kill things off. That's like when I like stop watching and it sucks because I because I want to be a good fan. I want to be a great fan to these people, but when you take something a loyal away, one, yeah, a loyal fan. But when you take something away, or or when someone leaves, it it hurts and it's hard to it's hard to like think think. Can you survive without this? When achievement hunter when when Ray left them to go pursue a better a better life for him because. Because it basically was not, I think, I think it was, it basically was just not a fit for him anymore. Right. And that was like the last time. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Yeah. And that was in high school, too. That was when I was in high school. I think when I was a sophomore or going into a junior, that's when Ray left. I can't, I can't really be, I can't really think of the specific date. But it was... It just felt like that there was a hole missing. It just it just felt like that there was a hole now, and you couldn't figure out how to fill fill that hole. I know how to fill a yeah. hole. Um, I know I used to use Mike or YouTube to watch funny videos. Mm-hmm. Never really got like attached to YouTubers. And and nowadays, I can't go without a second of seeing something political, or or a cringy influencer 
who God knows how they got how the heck do they get famous? Like, let's just look at someone. Do you know a, a, a I, I, I'm scared to say girl because she is probably at the age to be called a woman named Charlie D'Amelio. Okay. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. How the heck did we give her a fan base, a platform? How, 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 did, how did we miss this? How do we give this person who who doesn't know how to 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 understand what real retail retail job is? How do we give this cheeky girl a platform? I mean, everybody's got like like I, th- a fan I base. yeah, like I feel like it's easy to get famous nowadays, but you know, you need something that clicks. Right, you need something that's gonna. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. It's. It's very. It's very. It's, it's easy and it's hard. Mm-hmm. Like, I. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Yeah. It's very hard to explain, but she, but she got famous for doing these these TikTok dances. I feel like I feel like, it 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 it, it all gets to. It it all happens. It all happened during COVID. I feel like that was the time. Nothing was happening. All people could do would be on their phones, and you go on TikTok, and all of a sudden you yeah. see this girl just dancing, and you well, yeah, find you know, everybody it, was and you find it entertaining. That's what I think. How she got a platform because COVID was a big time where nothing was happening, no movies. You want to watch a movie? Watch, watch what you had back back in the early two thousands. Watch what, watch a rerun. You know, because we can't do anything for you. You can't go to the movie theater. We can't produce a movie. You can't go do a sport. We cannot do sports for you. Everything shut down. Well, I say you'll notice that's when everybody started yeah. doing stuff. You know, that's when the YouTube, mm-hmm. the podcast, all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff started really blowing up mm-hmm. because you couldn't do anything yeah. else. And the close, yeah. Uh, all everyone had was a phone. They open that phone up, and you go on your little apps, because that's all you had, and you just focused on that. Because I feel like everything, everyone shut down for no reason. I did not shut down. I actually made a big difference to myself. If you, if you kind of know Zach nowadays. I have kept my body in shape. I have I I was exercising a lot during COVID. Mostly cardio. I I then when we were able to go out wearing mask, wearing a mask at least, I messaged my my buddy, a good friend of mine, asking if he still goes to the gym, and he said yes I do, but I go eight eight eight, eight in the morning, you know. I could have said, I could have said, "Ooh, that's that's very early for me." But no, I suck. I sucked it up and I did, and I went. Like I think, what I could say is that I took, I took my my mo my moments of of life that I that I could that I need to cherish because lots of people died during COVID. I don't. I did not lose anyone special that that impacted me, but learning about all this stuff that was going on I kind of tried to cherish the moments I have and take take that step forward take the, take the challenge and my challenge was to put myself in a good shape of a body I would I would like a good healthy body not not shape right mm-hmm. you know I think a lot of people did they found ways to keep themselves mm-hmm. busy whether it was yeah. working out or creating content that is definitely true i just i really do wish though that youtube was was def i wish youtube could have been a good a good thing to happen during COVID, but it did not end end in a nice end in a way that i wanted it to be because well yeah your, your last post was like during COVID. my post was like way before COVID. Was it? Like... Oh, no, it was during COVID. 
twenty twenty. No, like two no, years that was, ago. That was it was like towards the. That was yeah. It was like we were just coming out of COVID. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was actually post COVID, where, yeah, I I don't know what I don't know what happened there. I guess I just realized a lot of more stuff around me than being focused on a on a computer or TV in a way. Well, you know what also happened is, you know, you had a girlfriend at the I, time, yeah, too. I, I just started. You were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she kind of opened my eyes a bit more with a lot of things around me. Yeah, like your priority yeah. shifted. Yeah, and I, and I, yeah, like I wanted to enjoy what was around me. I wanted to enjoy spending time with her, doing things. And it, and it sucks that we're, that we're not a thing anymore, but. But you need that experience yeah, in your life. Yeah, I got the experience, but I really wish that I could have got more out of her experience. Right. Yeah. I mean, do you have a big takeaway from that? You know, would you have changed anything? Like, would you have done more YouTube? Or would, did you really if, not mind it being a, with someone? Uh emphasize more on what you're trying to say because I feel so like if I was with her so like would you have changed it because I know you were with her you took like you stopped posting a lot I stopped posting like would you if you could go back would you have changed it would you still make content and still yeah I definitely I I definitely I definitely wish that I could have made more content too while also being with her because it was a part, it w- it was something important in my in my life. You YouTube has been there. Oh God, water, water! I'm drowning. Oh gosh, oh my! I was trying to make stairs. <laughs> I was trying to make stairs. <clears throat> How the heck did I get this? Hang on. <sighs> time, time. Okay, there we go. Okay. You were saying. You were saying. Well, I would say, I would say that I wish that like I could, I could had, I could had time to make more content and kept kept the thing because YouTube has been in my life so much. So it was, so it was difficult. I w- I don't think it was difficult. Like I just, I just couldn't find time. I didn't really have the motivation because when something opens up. When something new opens up and you and you like and you find and you start liking that more, you know, you can you're gonna keep focusing on that, I guess. Right. And I really do wish <clears throat> and I feel like I just didn't have anybody to record stuff with. Because you were with Chloe because you and Chloe, you know, you did a lot of stuff with Chloe too during these two years. Um, right. You you guys are engaged now. I don't even know if the people people before you even knew Chloe, the one the the ones that are still watching my videos from to from back then till today. But it's like I just feel like that we all just had we all we all just got busy and you know, we all found found new things to do uh and we and when you start liking something over another thing, you know, you want to keep doing that. You want to keep enjoying. Right. So I think the motivation, the inspiration, the dedication just died off when something new opened, because you haven't had that in a while. Which is which is a true thing, because in 2022, when I met her, I was going on about three years of being single. So I did not, so I, it's been a bit of, it's been a bit for me to witness and experience being with someone again. And then I real, and then I got to experience and notice again what it's like to have that special someone in your life. And they enjoyed being around you at the, at the right. time, at the time they showed that they, they, they showed interest in you and want to be around you. And so you want to show interest, you want to Bounce, bounce that back off and show interest to them and all that stuff. Right. Too, because you are you want to hope for something good. So it's like it's kind of like a little, it's kind of like a little little new chapter, a little new uh, goal you want to set. You want things to work very well for this, so you want to focus on that 
over something else. Right. Now, let me ask you. Go ahead. What really... How did you get into YouTube? Like, what made you want to start making videos? My brother. Just because you watched? Was it your brother? My brother. My brother. How, my brother. How did he make that happen? My brother just got a, a back. <laughs> this is this is old school. You ever heard of a flip camera? I can only like picture like a flip phone in my head. It's not a flip phone. Really? It's just yeah. a square box camera thing with like huh. a little a little lens. Um. When, Interesting. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not familiar. When yeah, so he he started making really random videos. Then he I I think it was basically just like, hey, want to do a video with me? Sure. And as we kept on doing this and doing this, it just looked it was just so fun to do. And I just remember one day I just was like, hey, can I make can I do a random video for the channel? He's like, no, it's my channel. Here, I'll make your own. <laughs> and so I got my own, and then I just kept going. He stopped. He stopped. I think maybe a year after that, he just stopped doing videos from there. Like I think 20, 2011 or twenty ten was like the last time I saw my brother post a video on YouTube. And I just kept going. I just kept going. It was just. It was just. It was just fun. It was my thing. You know, when when it was something that I enjoyed, and I and I and I always strived. To getting a, a a thousand subscribers, that was that's still my goal today. But I feel like maybe once I once I got a thousand subscribers, I was just like, what's what's there to do next? Yeah, you know, like what's next? Yeah, it's like what's next? I don't think I had a plan, so maybe that's where the motivation kind of just and the inspiration died out. I didn't have a plan because I'm like, there's like, because I'm in college, I already missed my prime. My prime was supposed to be in high school because. Huh. Yeah, my prime was supposed to be when I when I would hit hit that age, that like certain age where like everyone gets popular. Everyone got popular. Everyone who I watched back in the day got famous when they were in high school. Smosh, they were they were they were about they were they just hit college maybe. Um, Shane Dawson back in the day was 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 young. Like you gotta hit it at the young age, and I did not hit the hit it at age. So, you gotta get it when the time's right. <laughs> you know, let's say I think you you like said it earlier too. Like back in college, you know that's when you posted a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But we were around so many people <laughs> so who were many. also yeah. They also would do their own kind of stuff. So you had that. Mm -hmm extra push to want to do stuff like even it wasn't gaming you used to do videos of like challenges mm -hmm. you know just talking and mm -hmm. like sports stuff like that yeah yeah when you're in high school and college you have people around you and what you don't realize and that's another that's like a big thing too when you get older who's gonna stick by your side who's gonna be there for you who's gonna help you 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 start now noticing that people are going to that that like people truly are gonna leave you and you, and you're you know they come and go they come and go and you're just not ready, even when you bring new people in your life, you just don't realize that like hey, someday they're gonna they're gonna leave, or maybe you'll be lucky you know, and they stayed. I am. It's still surprising how like we are still, still, uh, holding it strong in this friendship sometimes because you know, because like you been like six years, seven years. Eight, no. eight years. Is that, it really? Eight, yeah, we are going on almost Damn. eight years. When when August hits, it will be eight years of of a, of a friendship that we kept holding on, and that's a big thing too with like dedication right there. It was just right. it was just dedication and like <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> I mean, freshman year. I know that I did not really do stuff with you, but you were my neighbor. You were my dorm neighbor. I mean, we would do, we would, we would, you would, we would both tag along and stuff. But I feel like we didn't start gaming together until sophomore year. Yeah, you know, Cornell was there. Cornell was the big gamer and mm -hmm. kind of actually got us all playing games together. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then we all kind of like, kind of like tag teamed when Fortnite was a big thing for us. Oh, yeah. That's kind of how, like, back when it was, back when it was good. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. It's just having extra people to do it with, you know, it just makes it more fun. Yeah. Yeah. When you, when you have the resources and people can be resources, people are resources. Look at your resume, look on the bottom reference. Those yeah. are resources. People are resources. I know, I know I just labeled us as like a weird name, but like, yeah, we, when you have resources, when you have the people, they're just like, yeah, I'll totally do that. Or like, yeah, I'll help you. It's good to have those. It's just very hard to keep them. I would right. say. Well, I wouldn't say it's hard. And you know, if well, it was truly in, oh, but no. In in twenty in twenty twenty one, I made my first short film, and I was ready to make 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 my next one. I just did not have my 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 resources because they all moved on. Because they all live went to go do their they they had new things pop up and they took those they took that pathway instead of like staying by in case you know like hey I got this thing but like if you if you if you need me I'll see what I can do and yeah right nothing just nothing and when you find resources when you believe you found resources always double check. Because I I talked to somebody recently, um, because he he he's a famous person in my town I live in, and I asked for re I asked for like help and stuff, and I haven't heard back from him. We talked in we talked we talked in January. I haven't heard back from him. It's been four months. Man. So it's just like it's double check your resources. I just made a I just made a new a new friend for going because he's in a, he's in a band band but he is willing to do all this stuff with me. He's busy. He's busy with with doing doing his band stuff, his band gigs. But like he still finds time. And I just I just made more sticks, and there's sticks in the corner here. Well, see, now that's the guy that you met through that that one concert you were supposed to go with that, you know, that one girl you went with that mm -hmm. we won't name. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went. Yeah. I, uh, recently, he he said, hey, I got this day off. Well, why don't you come up and now and now and we'll and we'll have a little really fun, fun day for you for your birthday. So I went up to to his hometown. It's about an hour north over over by the Joliet region. And all we did was play billiards at his at his local town bar, but it was just fun. Like he and actually, I saw the picture you posted yeah, of it, yeah. yeah. It's like he actually Yeah, it's like he when you when you have people that want to do stuff with you too, that's a that's a big thing too. And he wanted to do well, something yeah, with me. Yeah, it shows who your like real friends are. And of course, like you, you and me, there be there be times that we will get lunch together, that we have that time to get lunch or dinner. There be there be that little twenty minute gap where you're like saying, "Hey, let's go get a coffee." Like it's right. like when you have people. The little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have those people there, when you have people, it's a good it's a good feeling. And even right. and even that that day when when I went up to go hang with him, our plans changed like so many times. The first plan was to hey come on up, I'll take you to my family's ice cream store and I'll buy you ice cream. Like cool, awesome. And then we're gonna, and then it was just like, hey, the ice cream. Oh, oh, oh well, it was ice cream and then we're going to the city. Hey. I, I gotta do an audible on you. Um, so instead of ice cream, I have actually re I actually have a re rehearsal to go do. Can you come up around seven at my seven and we we'll go to this arcade place? Me 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 and um, me and my girl will take you to this arcade place. Okay, sure, sounds good. I get to his house. Okay, I have to change again. Um, we're actually not gonna go to that place. We're gonna go take. I how about do you like do you like pinball machines? Oh yeah, I like pinball machines. Okay, we're we're gonna go to this bar. 
we're gonna go to this one bar that has uh, pinball machines, and then we're gonna go play play some billiards afterwards too. Okay, cool. All we did was play billiards. <laughs> because why? Well, I mean, yeah. So stopped. Yeah, it's like we just we just got stuck. We just oh, got distracted yeah. playing billiards. He w <laughs> and so funny too because like little little kinks, little little nits just like kind of like change stuff because then he was like, oh, we should do like pickleball. We should go play pickleball. <gasps> we should go. It's just like oh, we should we should play Mario Party. We should do all this stuff. And then basically the day the day was, I got to his house. We're gonna go do billiards. We're gonna go out of the bar. We're gonna drink. I have a good time. Which dude, you know what's interesting too when you know. When you know it is a past, it's like a past memory. When you can't even handle at least one to two drinks, <laughs> it is such okay. a memory now. I remember when I could, when I could handle at least There's my. You'd be on a like, like, whole case at the time. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it's like I could at least drink a hat. I could at least drink a six pack, back in the day. And now it's like I can't do, I can't do jack. Sh Jack shit. <laughs> yeah, my tolerance is so low now. But, but you know, we used to drink like all the time on the weekends, you know. So yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's weird how things change so quickly, mm -hmm. and you don't even realize it until it's mm. until it's gone. No, but I'm actually I'm actually glad I'm glad that I don't drink drink often anymore same mm -hmm. like yes i'll yes i do more social social ways it's like it's like hey you want to go get a drink sure hey i got this drink i got the, i got myself a drink do you want the last one i i brought, I brought you one sure i'll be nice i'll take i'll take that beer <laughs> i'm not gonna say no i'm good i'm gonna be nice and have a drink with you right yeah, but it's just like when you hit, when you stop drinking, you your body just feels so healthy now, and that's how my and my body. And I think my body thanks me now. Oh god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! There's a zombie on me. Dude, oh, wait, these I'm good. zombies I'm good. hit hard. They do. I don't think I've died so much in a Minecraft world yeah, same. than this one. Same, same, same. These people are just gonna be like, wow. These guys suck at Minecraft, but we really don't. We're just trying our best to talk and talk. <laughs> we're focused on talking, not playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're focused on talking. We just, we just thought that this would be funny to just, you know, have like a little fun gameplay while you, while you guys listen. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> but but yeah, know. this is just, this is, the, this has just turned into. I wanted to talk about YouTube, but it just turned to like core memories that we had <laughs> when we well, were young. Well, YouTube. Is such a core memory, you know. Like it's been around for, it's been a while for a while now. But like, the time we got into it was so different than everyone else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that it's a fond memory for us of to what where, it used to be. Yeah, to where like we we were, you had to do your best to succeed, and now. You, you can do the bare minimum or less to succeed. Right. In wanting to do... To be a social influencer. That's another thing, too. Remember when, like... There was actually a, a better term... Oh, it was it was a creator. You were a, you were a creator, not a... Not a... Influencer, not a social influencer. Yeah, wouldn't it be content creator? Like, you know? Content creator, yeah, yeah. You were a content creator. You created, you were a creator. Now it's just social media influence influencer now. Right. Because everything is just a joke. Everything now is just a big joke. Or yeah. or or when people when people say that they're an entrepreneur but they are selling pictures of themselves. <laughs> that's not that is definitely how is that a how is that a small business you know that's a that's a topic for another podcast but yeah, only fans and all that oh my gosh don't even <laughs> you start it that took a that would be that'll be our next topic oh. we're, we're just we're just gonna vent 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. I never thought, you know, like, people take YouTube and content creating so seriously. I always just thought it was just going to be, like, something fun to do. And, and it just got so competitive. Yeah, so everything got competitive. And now everything just becomes a memory. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, I'm just going to play. I'm going to make videos for fun. I'm not going to do it because I'm trying to make money. I'm going to do it because, hey, well, I like doing it. And I think a lot of YouTubers and creators start off that way until they start making money and then it becomes their only source of income. So they have to, they have to like do it so competitively that almost that they don't like have fun with it anymore. It's literally just mm -hmm. their job. It's their chore. They have to do it yes. if they want to pay the bills. You know, That's true. I, I like having not having that responsibility of mm -hmm. hey this is my source of income I need to start playing now or I need to get this much footage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I like not having to do that you know if you know what I mean yeah sometimes time oh god I gotta sneeze <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Bless you. And that, and and with that, I think it's time to end it. <laughs> yeah, it's been oh my, it's been over an hour, yeah, and that's since an that's since like where I actually started recording. Mhm. Mm yep. And with that sneeze, we shall call it. We shall call it a day. You so know. Thank you guys so much for listening. We hope you enjoy. We hope you. You embark on our journey of our little talking segments. Don't worry, this isn't gonna be the only stuff we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring out videos in the future, some fun some fun content that we believe is good. You know, I just wanna right. just wanna throw in there. It's just gonna be a bunch of random topics that we wanna talk about. Maybe nothing serious, mm -hmm. like in yeah, the yeah, we're nothing trending. serious. As, ex um, as, as an experienced podcast, a little a small podcaster, because I have done a podcast. Go check out that channel. We still got our we still got our episodes up there, but it's just hit the hit the record button and just start just start talking. Yeah, and you'll find this on both of our channels. You know, we'll have them in the descriptions mm -hmm. here. Um, yeah. Until we make one joint channel for Game Hub, they would. <laughs> But, you know, I think it's going to be fun. You know? Yeah, it's going to be great fun. Good fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once you lose mm -hmm. the ability to start speaking, I think that's time we got to... <laughs> <laughs> Once you sneeze. <laughs> but, thank, but, yes. Thank you guys so much for, for listening and watching. And I'll stay remember, tuned and look forward to all the rest of the ones yeah. coming out. I remember I remember to keep get that experience up to level up. I'm Kevin. Holy fuck, That's Kevin. Sad. Dude, what the what? fuck is this zombie horde coming? Whoa. What the fuck? Stop. Stop distracting. We're trying to end this video. But anyway, guys. I'm Kevin. I'm Zach. Over there, not chickens. That, that's Zach and the chicken suit. We'll see you next time.